Hello everyone and welcome to geek for geeks The problem which we are going to see today is to find a peak element. So in this problem, you will be basically given an array of integers and you have to find the uh, peak element in it. So what is a peak element? An, er an array element is a peak if it is not smaller than its neighbors. Note that we are saying that if it is not smaller than its neighbors, we are not saying that if it is greater than its neighbors. So if uh, say we have a combination 3, 3 and 3, then in that case, if we are checking if th this middle 3 is a peak element or not, then as this middle element is not smaller than its neighbors, so this will be a peak element. Okay, so now uh, we, uh, we'll take some time to basically understand the uh, problem. Uh, then we'll go on to the solutions. So for the corner elements, uh, we will need to consider only one neighbor, which makes sense because the corner elements will have only one neighbor. So we'll only check for one neighbor. So for the first element, we'll uh, only check the right, uh, right neighbor. And for the last element, we'll only check the uh, left neighbor. So for example, we have this array. So for five, we'll only check the right neighbor, which is 10. And for 15, we'll only check the left neighbor, which is 20. Uh, in both the cases, five is also not a peak element because 10 is greater than five. 15 is also not a peak element because 20 is greater than 15. Now coming to 10, five is smaller, that is fine. But 20 is greater, so 10 is not a peak element. And now 20, so both its neighbors are smaller than 20. So 20 is a peak element and that's what is written here. Okay, so uh, then we have another example here. So in this example, we have uh, 20 here and 90. So these two are the peak elements. 67 cannot be a peak element because 90 is greater than 67. 23 again has a right neighbor which is greater than 23. 2 has both the neighbors which are greater than uh, 2. 15 has a neighbor 20 which is greater than 15 and 10 has a neighbor 20 which is greater than 10. So 20 and 90 are only the peak elements in this array. So it is also interesting to note that uh, the problem is uh, problem says find a peak element. So uh, there may be multiple peak elements but we have to return any one peak element here. Okay. So uh, let's discuss some uh, corner cases. So if the array is in strictly increasing order, then the last element will always be a, a peak element and none of these previous elements will be a peak element. Uh, so if uh, the array is the opposite, so it's in strictly decreasing order, then the first element will be a peak element and the remaining elements will not be a peak element. If all the elements of the input array are same, then every element is a peak element. Now this again makes sense. Uh, as I discussed previously that uh, if I take the example of having continuous threes, so if the array, array has 10 elements and all the elements are three, then because we are checking that the neighbors should, uh, that the element should not be smaller than its neighbors. So it can be equal to its neighbors and still be a peak element. So that is what we are saying here that if all the elements of the input array are same, then every element is a peak element. Okay, so let's look at the uh, first solution. So the first solution is to uh, basically do a linear search. I mean the linear scan of the array and uh, we find a peak element. So whenever you iterate, uh, you just check the uh, previous element and the next element and if it is not uh, smaller than any, both of, uh, any of them, then you basically say that it's a peak element. So the worst case time complexity of this method would be order of n. Why? Because uh, in the case of strictly increasing, uh, the last element will be the peak element and we will, we will have to iterate uh, through whole of the arrays. And so that's worst case time complexity will be order of n. So the question is that can we find a peak element in worst time complexity better than order of n? Well, we actually can. The method we will be using here will be divide and conquer. So in this divide and conquer paradigm, uh, 
by using this paradigm we'll basically be able to find the peak in order of log n time let's see how this works so the idea is uh, basically binary search based so in this uh, uh, we'll compare the middle element but we'll not be comparing middle element uh, with us with one key uh, we'll basically compare the middle element with its neighbors if the middle element is not smaller than its neighbors then we basically return it because we have found the uh, peak element in the first uh, iteration itself great what if we don't so if the middle element is smaller than its left neighbor then there's always a peak in the left half so what does this mean uh, so let's take up an example here so this have one two three four five six seven elements so uh, this is the uh, middle element now uh, it says that if uh, the middle element is smaller than its left neighbor so left neighbor is 20 here so yes 4 is smaller than 20 then there's always peak in the left half so it says that there's a peak in this left half why uh, does it uh, why why is it that uh, there all there will always be a peak in the left half let's see that so there could be uh, multiple possibilities for uh, first possibility could be that uh, 20 is the uh, corner element so there uh, if we ignore 1 and 3 for now then 20 is the corner element so in that case 20 is a peak element why because uh, it has only one neighbor which is 4 and 4 is smaller than 20 so 20 becomes a peak element so in this case 20 will be a peak element but uh, let's say that 20 is not a corner element and it has a left neighbor so again there are two possibilities one is that the left neighbor is smaller than 20 in that case again 20 becomes a peak element otherwise what could happen is that the left neighbor is greater than the uh, the left neighbor is greater than 20 in that case we'll again have the same conditions which we had with 20 for this element so either uh, this element will be a corner element in which case this will be a peak element or uh, there will be the two cases which we discussed previously so anyhow there will be a uh, basically a peak element in the left half if this condition holds true same condition holds true for uh, this so if uh, this element is uh, greater than 4 then there has to be a peak element in the right half so uh, let's look at the uh, code so uh, we have this uh, find peak function so this find peak function basically takes as an argument the array and the size of an array then we call uh, find peak util with the array uh, the index starting index the ending index and the total size of the array okay so this is basically uh, the classic binary search uh, type of a uh, calling so uh, we come to this function now uh, here we have the array the low and the high and the size of the index uh, size of the array so we calculate the uh, mid which is low plus high minus low by 2 which uh, effectively becomes low plus high by 2 okay so uh, we compare the middle element with its neighbor if neighbors exist so in this first condition we are checking if uh, mid is equal to equal to zero because if it's equal to equal to zero then it will not have a left uh, uh, left neighbor so we'll not be comparing this condition we'll say that yeah it's true and in here also we are comparing the uh, if mid is equal to equal to n minus one which means it's the rightmost element so in that case also we'll not be comparing these this condition so let's say it's not the first element then we'll be comparing the uh, left neighbor with the element itself that it's uh, if it is uh, smaller than or equal to so we have the same conditions uh, here we are talk, uh, checking the mid plus one here we are checking the mid minus one with the element uh, if uh, this if condition becomes true then we return the mid saying that it's the uh, peak element 
now uh, uh, we have the two else conditions so if the middle element is not the peak and its left neighbor is greater than it then the left half must have the peak element so that is what we discussed in the previous slide so if mid is greater than 0 and array of mid minus 1 is greater than array of mid then we basically uh, call the function find peak util uh, for uh, low to mid minus 1 because in this uh, first half there has to be a peak element otherwise uh, we call find peak util for the second half uh, to derive for the right uh, right array uh, from mid plus 1 to high so in the end we will be uh, uh, we will get the uh, peak element uh, which will be returned by this uh, find peak so this is the uh, driver function so we are just having an array then we pass in the size then we just print it uh, using the find peak element uh, which uh, does the recursive calls and do, does the binary search so the time complexity will be order of login where n is the number of elements in the input array okay so uh, in summary we basically discussed two methods the first one was a, a linear search which took uh, which had the time complexity of order of n uh, the second was divide and conquer which has the time complexity of order of log n so for sure the second method is the preferable method because it has the um, better time complexity so that is all for this uh, tutorial uh, you can visit this link to find all the stuff discussed in this tutorial and also run the code discussed here. Uh, thank you very much. See you in the next video.